Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bitter Man Studios, and I wanted to show you a completely RPC-based game. So this game has nothing but remote procedure calls, and there's only two functions that I'm really using for the whole game. The game is tic-tac-toe. So I'm going to start up a PC build and then start up the editor version. So I'm going to make the PC build the server this time and the editor the client. So server goes first, client, server, client. Uh, the client can't go again until the server goes server, server wins, so X wins, the client gets a rematch, then the client gets to go first, then the server, client, server, client, so O wins, then the server gets the rematch, and so, oh, server gets a rematch, so, if we uh, do that, we get a cat wins, and the person who went uh, first it goes second now, so the server went first last time, so the client gets to go first. All right, so I'm going to show you some uh, the code that goes behind it. So here's my start game. I just modified it to be TCP and have one connection. And then there's this field box, which if we look at Unity and go to the game scene here, there is a board, no not the canvas, there's a board and there's a bunch of colliders and there's a collider for each one of the sections that we click on and each of the colliders have a field box script on it which just does the X and O's and the index of each of the boxes and whatever. So if we looked at the code here for it, you'll notice that the field uh, box derives from simple networked mono behavior. A simple networked mono behavior does not serialize any of the positions or any of the other stuff. All it serializes is remote procedure calls, basically. It is the base class for the uh, networked mono behavior, which I don't think I've talked about yet, but that's another one you can derive from. Uh, so, the simple network mono behavior, this is just like brute force logic. I didn't even really try to optimize this uh, tic-tac-toe game. So uh, if we go down, there's two functions. There's a BRPC, which is the Bearded Man RPC, or remote procedure call. Uh, we have it above the place mark function, and we have one against uh, up on top of a replay function. There are zero references to both of these because of the way RPCs work. So the place mark just uh, places the mark, uh, checks if it's a victory, and then toggles the turn, so whose turn it is, and turns off the collider. Uh, and this is done on whoever receives the remote procedure call, and then the replay uh, just calls a reset on all the fields. Um, if we come down here to the on mouse button, uh, on mouse up as button, this is for a function that's built into Unity when you click colliders. If it's the X turn and we are the server, so networking.isServer tells us whether we are the server or for the client. So X is always the server, so if the X turn is equal to the server, place the mark. Obviously, if it's not our turn and we are not the server, then this is a true statement. So we do RPC place mark, which just calls place mark. And down here for the rematch uh, function, which is called when we click the rematch button in the Unity GUI, it calls the RPC replay. Now, this RPC doesn't have any arguments. If it did, such as like a bool turn, and maybe a string name, and maybe an int num, and a float x, and a vector 3 b. If we had any of that, uh, down here, when we call the RPC, we just put a comma and we just start listing out all the params. So the turn, we could say false, the string name, uh, player, the num, 35, the float, uh, 0.34f, and new vector3 or vector3.1. So you would just uh, place each argument uh, consecutively after the function name here and that will pass all the arguments across the network. Uh, so this will be one of the samples that come with it so you can take it apart and look at it as well. So uh, yeah, th this is RPCs in a nutshell. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or if I miss anything. Uh, until next time, I'll see you then.